Welcome everybody to my latest video. So for this video, I thought I'd show you guys how to fix some minor problems you may encounter with your HAP arcade gun. Now, probably can't see too well because the lighting is, well, there's no lighting in here, but this is your standard HAP gun. Now, sometimes you may buy an arcade game or maybe just the gun itself and everything seems to work fine but you're not getting any hit shots on the screen and perhaps you've already messed with all the monitor options uh, you know made the monitor brighter you may have calibrated the gun and still nothing now a common problem is you'll pull the trigger and you'll get a flash on the screen but no shot registers so let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about Player one. we'll just get past this uh, intro right here see see how it's flashing but I'm getting nothing See, nothing. Nothing at all. A lot of flashing, but no registering. Well, let me show you some ways you could fix this issue. So, let's get started. Okay, so here we are with your standard HAP gun. So, for the most part, they look like this. Some of them might have a rubber protector right here at the end. Uh, most of the ones that I, I've dealt with don't have that. But in order to try and solve the issue that we were having, just go ahead and remove the gun from the cabinet. So get yourself a nice little workbench or something, you know, somewhere you could put the gun. Now, what you're going to need is something called a Torx security screw or Torx security bolt um, wrench. Now let's see if we can focus in. These things they don't have standard screws or bolts they have something um, called Torx T-O-R-Q or is it T-O-R-X? I don't know one or the other. Anyways let's see if we can focus in here. Try and get a really good shot here. Right there. Now you see that? You see how it's star shaped? Well, this is a Torx wrench. Now you see at the you see the hole right in the middle? That is for a Torx tamper proof bolt. If there was no hole, then it would just be a regular Torx. But what you need is a tamper proof. So right there, you can see that's a really good shot right there. So go ahead and uh, you need to go down to your local hardware store. Uh, just ask for these. They should have them. I personally like this contraption here. It's real nice. Everything folds. You got more than uh, what you need. So what you need to do first is go ahead and remove all your bolts. And you see you got, what is it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So go ahead and remove all those. Okay, so you're probably looking at this video right now and you're seeing something a little bit different. Well, as I was editing the whole video, the particular segment that I needed, for some reason, didn't transfer from my camera to my computer correctly. And when the transfer process was complete, it automatically deleted it from my camera. So, rather than taking apart the gun again, um, it's been a while since I filmed the last segment you just saw, 
I just going to show you this particular gun for this particular segment on um, cleaning of the HAP gun. Now, this is not a HAP gun. This is a Konami Justifier. However, it's sort of the same thing, at least as far as what I was showing you in the video that you know accidentally got deleted. So, what you want to do is inside your HAP gun, you're going to have one of these. When you take it apart, you're going to have your wires, you're going to have your, um, your gun board, which basically goes about right here inside the HAP gun. You're going to have this lens right here. And what you want to do is take out the lens, preferably grab it from the side, and just clean it. You want to make sure it's nice and clean. Use a nice soft cloth. There's been many times where I bought HAP guns that were, quote, non-working, and it just need a good cleaning. So, as you can see, this one's pretty good. Uh, on your HAP gun, it'll be about the same size, same thickness. Just go ahead and pull it out. It's not glued down. And just clean it. Clean it with a soft cloth. Put it back in. Grab it by the sides. You don't want any debris or dirt from your fingers to get smudged on there. Now, the other thing is... I can't remember if the next segment of this video uh, shows you or not, but your HAP gun is also going to have, uh, you really can't see it, but there's basically an eye, an, an optic eye, and it's going to be sticking out right about here. I'll show, I'm pretty sure it's in the next segment also, but you'll just want to clean that again, nice soft cloth, um, make sure it's nice and clean. So, now that uh, you've seen this debacle of uh, a video, we'll move on to the next step, and then the next step, you'll once again see a HAP gun. Okay, so here we are. I just had to remove a couple screws, that way to give it a little bit of uh, room, and this is what was right there. As you can see, it's just a hard piece of plastic. It might also come in a softer rubber type material. So if you get this out, you just want to check inside. Make sure there's nothing obstructing the view. Make sure it's nice and clean. And then, right here, that is the eye. That's the main thing that, well, basically tells your gun what it's shooting at. So, again, with a nice cloth, you know, something nice, soft, just clean the outside of the eye. You want to make sure that's nice and clean. So, once you do all that, put everything back together, and hopefully, your problem will be solved. Like I said, there are many things that can go wrong with this. In my experience, the most common issue is it was just dirty on the inside. And the main things are making sure that's clean making sure that's clean and making sure nothing is blocking the view inside of there so there you are put everything back together try it out hopefully it'll work if not then you might have to check the wires or something but hopefully this video will help you so until next time That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over.